The world of Pokemon is full of unique and interesting characters. Some will forever be engraved in our memories, but then there are those who had important roles but seem to be forgotten. So today we are shining a spotlight on these forgotten Pokemon characters to appreciate their contribution to the history of the Pokemon world. I will be focusing only on in-game characters, but if you guys enjoy this video I am sure I can make one based on anime characters. So with all that formality out of the way, let's see how many of these characters you guys still remember. Lance is one of those characters that I'm sure most fans have at least heard of him. I feel like when you think about the first Pokemon League, he's the one that stands out the most. With his team full of powerful Dragonites and other strong Pokemon, the fight with Lance was worth to remember. I mean, he was the last Elite Four before you faced the champion, so he had to be strong and popular, right? In Generation 2, Lance received even more spotlight as he roamed the Johto region, and you would encounter him throughout your journey until you finally learned that he was actually the new Pokemon League champion. But let me ask you something. Can you remember who took his important role as the final Elite Four member? Karen filled this role, and even though she was now the strongest Elite Four member, I don't believe that many fans have fond memories of Karen. She had all the reasons to shine including being the first Elite Four member to focus on the cool new type that was introduced back in Gen 2, Dark-type Pokemon. With the lack of a background story or a relationship to any other characters, Karen was doomed by Game Freak to be one of those forgotten characters. If you have your own TV show, give out PC wallpapers, and from time to time also hand out Pokemon eggs, you gotta be somewhat popular, right? I mean, if Hironobu Yoshida, one of the graphic designers for Pokemon, who is responsible for amazing Pokemon like Deoxys and Wobbuffet, cosplays as this character, I am sure all of you guys know exactly who I am talking about, right? Right? Despite the somewhat major role played by Primo compared to other NPCs, not a lot of people remember him. Well, maybe if I mention his stage name, the Poke Dude, you guys will remember. He first appeared in Fire Red and Leaf Green, and it saddens me that even me have forgotten about him. I mean, we all remember that old man who was wasted in the middle of the road. And don't give me that, oh, he need a coffee crap, because we all know what really went down that night, right? Oh, and by the way, this old man happens to be Primo's grandfather. What a twist, right? But I guess it's not that bad considering that most people don't even know that Primo has a twin brother named Maximo, who is also in the games. Let's not even get started with him. Playing the Pokemon games has been more like a tradition for me. I started with Pokemon Red and have played every single game in the core series since then. In the past 20 years, I have gathered dear memories of me playing the games, such as my battle with Blue, the rough times with Cynthia, and by rough I mean my team getting wrecked by her guard jump. But there's one moment that should have been engraved in our memories, but I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Being the very first Elite Four member ever, and I mean ever, has to be a big deal. But most fans would probably have forgotten about their fight with Lorelei. Well, the anime did make it somewhat popular. I mean, I know some of you guys are going to say like, Hey Obi, how can we forget about the great pair of tits? Yes, the majestic birds that have always been there, known as the Great Tit. How could you ever forget those? But no, seriously, these birds are named the Great Tit. You should look them up. Lorelai in the games did not have any significant moments that could help us remember her, unless you were getting wrecked by her team. But for the most part, I feel like players would not have any trouble with her. I guess that is what makes her forgettable. Alder was one of those bleh champions. His scene was alright, I guess, but nothing really stands out from him. Well, at least for me. He does have some interesting background stories, such as the death of one of his Pokemon, so to me it's not a surprise that some might not even know about his grandson, Benga. He happens to be one of the boss trainers in the Black Tower or White Tree Hollow. Actually, he's the last one. With such a huge role, you would think that he would be a character worth remembering. But to be honest, in my case, I didn't even finish the Black Tower, because I don't know, I thought it was too tedious. So I never got to battle him. While I know his team is composed of strong Pokemon such as Latios and Volcarona, the fact that he only had three, I feel, was a big disappointment for those who actually spent the time conquering the Black Tower. For that and the lack of crucial or significant events when encountering Benga, I feel that most people have forgotten about him. There are some very popular girls in the Pokemon games. 
Thank you, DeviantArt. Especially the girls who serve as your companions or rivals during your adventures. With the help of the anime, who could ever forget characters like Misty, Dawn, or Mei, who also happen to be part of the games. And nowadays, everybody's just talking about Serena. But the famous question, tell me, are you a boy or a girl, was not always part of the Pokemon games. Back in my days, playing video games was seen as something that the boys did. So when that myth was busted and we learned that girls also played Pokemon games, being the very first playable female character had to be a huge deal. But unfortunately, not a lot of people remember Chris. Not that Chris. Pokemon Crystal is by far one of the top games. It is only in here that you get to meet her. For those who play Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, Chris was actually replaced by Lyra. There was a big debate about how Game Freak should have kept the original characters, which led to many new fans not even know about the existence of this historical Pokegirl. Who to me should be remembered by all for being the very first girl to take down the most famous trainer in the Pokemon games, Red. Well, there you have it, Pokemon fans. Do you agree or disagree with my list? Let us know who do you think are some important Pokemon characters that have been forgotten in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. It does really help me get my name out there. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, Pokemon fans.